And today I have a quilt studio on tours video that I'm going to record for you and if you notice in the background it is kind of pretty though but I'm actually in the dark we lost our power overnight so I will meet you at Cynthia's house see you in a minute hi it's T and I'm at Cynthia's home and she this is Cynthia, Hello. and she has decided she's going to show you her entire home. She actually decorates with her quilts as well as make quilting, and we're going to start in her entrance hall, and then we're going to end in her studio. So I hope you all enjoy this tour. Everybody knows that I love to work with wool, and so this is one of my wool little welcome mats for the front door and then I made my little bird on a twig here. That's pretty so cute. So that's the front door. <laughs> and then I have an old antique church pew that I've decorated oh, and I cute. change it out periodically um, with different quilts that I've made, gifts from people, and um, wool pieces also. Very nice. Yeah. And she even got antique suitcases underneath. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. So if you you're going to figure out really quick that Cynthia is a collector of antiques as well. And it, your family business was right. in at the antique business. Yeah, my right? parents were dealers. Uh, this was a Civil War sewing circle project. Uh, it was um, a year-long project. And every month we did a block. And then I put mine together with the stars. This fabric is from the Civil War battles. Um, it's I've run out of this fabric, but I've used it in about five or six different quilts. Very nice. And, and this the, the green and blue thing is mine. That's my stuff from coming in. So <laughs> she's got a very pretty neat house. <laughs> this piece, I bought this little kit down at um, Little Quilts down in Marietta, Georgia, right before they closed. And then I put this together and just hang it on my chair in the front hall. Very nice. And just a home filled with antiques. Is this a writing desk? Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. I wasn't expecting you to open it, but yeah. it's nice and neat in yeah. there, too. <laughs> my little wall, wall Valentine's mat. Oh. Very pretty lilac color. Oh, my favorite. And so then we go into her actual living area. Beautiful quilt on the wall. That's just center stage, isn't it? <laughs> This is one of my favorite pieces. I named it the uh, Family Heirloom Quilt because somebody will be getting this. I'm not sure who yet, but this was one of my first attempts using wool. Uh, it was a block of the month over at Helen's Hen House, and I helped Christy with all of the overdyed fabric. And she actually did it, but we picked out a lot of things for the quilts. And, um, and what else happened with this quilt? This quilt was in this, a quilt show. This quilt was in the quilt show about six or eight years ago, and it won Best of Show. Exactly. Beautiful work. And was it the first year you displayed, or like yes. the second year? Uh, the first the first time I displayed In this. a quilt show. Yes. In a quilt show, I'm talking about. Yes. Because a lot of people are afraid to have their work hang. Yes. And so it just shows that even your first time out into putting something into a show at one best of show. Yes. So it yes. Was a blessing on that one. Mm -hmm. This one was a um, a year long project in our in our club, and it was um, a block of the month Beautiful. embroidery. Uh, once again, I put and it all together. hand work. Let me get mm -hmm. close up on that because she does beautiful hand embroidery as well. Handwork, period. All of her quilts are beautiful, but she specializes in wool 
and hand embroidery are her favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she just got quilts just tucked everywhere, just really pretty. And you don't have to take them all out, but I just want them to see yep. how you use them throughout your home. When most people are like, I can only use so many quilts. And do you change seasonally or are these things that... I, and I change things out, you know, whenever I feel like it. Okay. Know, some stuff stays in that place forever. Like that, that's a vintage quilt I bought mm -hmm. at an antique shop. I'll keep that there. Okay. This is another um, whole cloth that was um, quilted on satin. Okay. Yeah. So that's good to know because people are always say, I can only use so many quilts. <laughs> this, is a, this is another one of my little wool pieces I, I did. I put that on a twig and I made that while I was down in Georgia at my friend's mountain home. Beautiful. And then just how she displays it, it's just across one of her. It's a, is it a double light or an L? It kind of makes an L or a Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and it just sits in there. So mm -hmm. she's creative in how she gets them hung as well. So it's just sitting on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. What is this piece? Just because it's different. It's I don't know what the... It's an antique wardrobe. It's okay. It's a single door wardrobe. Okay, very beautiful. And then she even has it on her dining room I table. I always have a quilt on my dining room table. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, this is my spring one. I bought all that fabric when I was in Limerick, Ireland. Beautiful. There's my Easter bunny over there in the corner. <laughs> Wool applique. He's right there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> There's nothing in the kitchen. But okay, so we're just walking through. kitchen table. So she has a pineapple mm -hmm. block on the kitchen table. Let me show you the whole setup because it's so pretty. <laughs> and then a second seating area. Yeah, this is the family room. And then so um, my chair that I had ordered it was such a light color, I made a quilt to go on it. Okay. And then you kept it a light so it wouldn't interfere with the decor here mm -hmm. and took over, but it still, it blends in. It's beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. So do you come here sometimes and do handwork? This is where I sit. This is my thing right here where I do my um, handwork. I sit in my chair here. Oh. So this is an antique sewing box. Let me see. I can't see. Let me get around don't move it it opens there's satin in there and everything oh with fringe. it opens that opens you see it? Okay, okay go ahead okay because it's super cool my dad bought me this that's pretty cool she said this is a sewing box i didn't want her to rearrange it that's okay she's going to show you how neat it is it's really cool and it's filled with stuff too my daddy knows i love this stuff and he's good to this baby girl <laughs> Wow, beautiful. I've never seen this before. Mm, that's what antiques are. Wow, mm -hmm. beautiful. And you would never know mm -hmm. that it was that. Yeah, it's bird's eye maple. There's the bird's eye. Mm -hmm. It was a really good piece, but he wanted his Very bird nice. to have it. <laughs> I'm spoiled. It's that's not. all right, you're supposed to be. <laughs> You you hand. work hard and you daddy. should get what you want. <laughs> and then just more quilt store. Just want you to see she's using them. Everywhere. And then she's got a cute sign up there that says, "What happens at Nana's house stays at Nana's." <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. And what is this in here? Is this special linen? I'm just happy to see uh, cloth. They're vintage tablecloths. Okay, very nice. Everywhere. I love fabric. So you fabric. collect those I too? I love fabric. Okay, yes. very Anything nice. Fabric and I... she even got pieces in the back. Oh, yeah. Napkins and things like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I know you can't hardly see because of the glass glare, but wanted to share that. <laughs> Cynthia has such beautiful taste. When we walk in, I noticed when I first came in that she has something holding her quilts here. 
and your quilt tops and quilts. So what is this, Cynthia? Um, this is basically uh, a clothing hanger. When my parents would come visit, mm -hmm. they'd have to hang their clothes to, um, so they wouldn't fold them in the suitcase. So we just took one of them and put them on the door in here so I could hang my some of my quilts and some of the things I've been working on. But that's a so, great idea so. for storage, especially mm -hmm. if you have a small sewing studio, which okay. Cynthia does, but she utilizes her space very well. So I'm just going to give you a quick turn about her room and then we'll talk about each area. So this is where we just walked in. It's kind of an alcove here. It's a little bit back. Here is the wall. And then I'll just show you a quick span of her room. This area here is recessed. We'll talk about that when we go around. And then this is her next wall starting here, but she has this item here. And then, I'm not showing you, Cynthia. Okay. We're right back at the start here. But then in the middle of the room is her actual sewing area. So, we're going to start. Where do you want to start? Let's start here. Okay. So, we're going to start here. I'm just going to slide out so you can see as much as possible. Because, again, her room is small. What What would you say the size of this room is? About a 10 by 10? Uh, I think it's 10 by 12. 10 by 12. Okay. So, just to give them some concept of size and how you've got it organized. Okay. So, she's already got something open for us here. This this cabinet, I have a lot of vintage things on top of it in an old case up here. Um, old pictures. Um this is where I keep my wool. Um, this is basically the wool cabinet embroidery floss patterns, uh, pearl cotton. And I bought this um, wow. in Old Town Ferguson. Do you also felt your own wool or do you um, just... Sometimes I do, okay. but a lot of times I buy it like it is. But if I buy something at the Goodwill or if my mother gives me like an old suit or skirt, I'll, I'll go ahead and felt that. Okay. Um, so just, you know, all my little antiques added in. What is this? Just because this, I'm what, This interested. used to be um, a glove box or for hankies, mm -hmm. and it's made out of Bakelite. I bought this wow. down in the Ozarks. Uh, it's very old. I got it. It's in great condition. Beautiful. And that's why I wanted to share Cynthia's space with you because of the antiques. She's got a really good eye. And then that's one of those wagons that you can buy, and it folds up to that size. And she can fit it right in her room. It's not even in the storage area, which is great. I, I like to buy little containers and put my sewing supplies in them. This is actually a Bakelite powder box that I keep my clips in. <laughs> Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And we're all about what's different. <laughs> Right, and so, we love um, it. Any place I find something I think that'll fit, I'm just about out of room. I'll stick fabric in it, pre cuts, mm -hmm. anything I can find. Just beautiful. And then she's got another beautiful quilt hanging on the door here as well. Yeah. And we're gonna, I'm gonna step around her so we can show you what's in her next area. She's gonna talk about. Let me get behind you, okay. Cynthia. Okay. This, um, my, when we bought the house, my, I told my husband I wanted this room to be my sewing room. So he took the doors off of the closet and I put the old mercantile cabinet into this closet area. And so it's out of way and it, it fills up the space nicely. And she's um, even got a metal dress form, dress. Mm -hmm. That's I cool. use this when I do shows to hang scarves on with my brooches. This okay. Was, this is my baby hat and my own shoes and my dress. My Your mother, own stuff? My mother wow. gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And she's she, talking about her dress here. Yeah. That's and my, awesome. And my bonnet, she gave it to me. That was from christening or was this? Know. You don't know? Okay. No. But it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then she has another smaller rack there hanging mm -hmm. with notions in your storage here what do you store here just so they know uh, how you store well i just have different these are actually little wall hangings and pieces down here okay here's fabric uh categorized in colors okay um i have more in the big uh, the other closet stuff okay. that i've already made okay so you do store your 
other fabric somewhere else. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're oh, the okay, so they're, stuff. okay. Um, this is an old magazine rack that was in a shop that um, my mother gave me. And so I put books in it, rulers, anything that I can fit in it, but it's an old magazine um, cabinet that was in a store. And notice that she still had space to incorporate family as well, because I think a lot of us have a hard time having a sewing studio that's also can be personable and make you feel like it's your home yeah. still that you haven't just walked into a studio and right. out of the rest of your house yeah I have which is pictures really pretty of my sons and that's my brother this is your brother my here. brother Oops. and my boys when they were little it has to adjust to the light <laughs> okay but very cool and then she has another basket of miniatures you make a lot of miniature quilts Those too are for the quilt show to put in our stalls so that people um, will keep their hands oh, off of the quilts i just keep pretty. them here whenever, yeah i forgot whenever. you had organized that I'm, pretty yeah, cool i want to make sure nobody lost them <laughs> uh, projects to be worked on okay. let me step back around you come on um, projects that I'm going to be working on when I go out of town this summer. Okay. Uh, so you get stuff packed up so you know you got everything you need mm -hmm. before you go. Yeah. And I'm just going to step around and you can go talk about that in the corner over you want there. Me to go over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to step to this side so I can see you. Okay. This is an old um, post office box that was in a post office for people to put their mail in. Uh, some of them actually have the names burned on them, and I've had this piece for about 35 years, and um, it's a great storage unit for my little pieces, my notions. Just beautiful. Little pieces, everything. And the fact that everything still looks so neat, and she doesn't even have a backing on it. No. And still can keep it nice and neat. It's beautiful. And she has a big design yeah, wall is which is different it's made with cork and framed mm -hmm. is that am I, am I correct yes it is and my husband made that for me and um, he put it on drywall and then we put the uh, cork on it and framed it out like a okay. big picture very nice and it's different and it looks so finished very nice mm -hmm. totally different a framed design wall and just got all kinds of beautiful projects on the wall. What's with these birds? I know they might ask about those patterns. Do you remember the pattern for that? No, I don't, but I had started them and that's as far as I got. I'm like, the applique was really hard. It's needle turn applique. Uh -huh. And I said, well, those are really pretty. I'll just display what I have done. Okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. But lots of stuff, lots of award ribbons for things she's put into our quilt shows. Have you ever put anything into any other shows other than Flower Valley? No. Okay. Because your work, I figured you might have submitted to Paducah or something because yes, your work is... The, the, the raffle quilt. Okay. Yeah, but that's it. Okay. But your work is beautiful. This is the portrait quilt you did when yes. we had the portrait. Yeah. That's beautiful, too. Mine's I did like kid like. Yours look realistic. <laughs> Those earrings my granddaughter gave me, we broke the backs it's off. It's pretty of cool. But just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So we got one more wall to show you, and then we'll sh talk about her I'll workstation. Open the closet too, because that's oh. where. Okay, so we'll start in this far corner. This is like a, a tiered container that I purchased, and I put fabric in it and little containers. It's just stuff beautiful. I can pull out quickly. More fabric and containers on the floor. And that's more storage fabric? Or? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. I picked the, these up yesterday at a resell it shop. These vintage uh, red work embroidery blocks. I've already washed them and I'm going to press them. Okay. Were they all different? Um, most of them are the same. Okay. But there are a couple that are different. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. It's amazing. How much did you pay for that if you don't mind sharing? Six dollars. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't even realize the value of hand work. Yes. <laughs> and then she's got a lot of storage of her quilts. Nice and neat. <laughs> Again, everything with her. She figures out how to store filled. everything and keep it neat. So they're all just filled with quilt Quilts. storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And again, is this piece an antique too or? Yes, I okay. bought this in St. Charles. Okay. Yeah, it's it's two pieces, the top and the bottom. Uh -huh. But and it's pretty wide. 
Yes. Which is what I was looking at. I love this piece. So yeah. All right, and then on this wall, she's opened the closet door where she does her storage. So let me just give you a close up. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. I'm sorry. So she says this is a mess. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay. And then even on the inside, she's got some inspiration hanging here. It's pretty cool. When life gives you scrap, make quilts. One of my patients gave that to me. Oh, okay. So do you want to talk about anything else in there? What's stored in here just to tell them? Um, because you don't have a whole lot of other storage out. So everything is in here? In here, in the closet that's recessed back in containers. And then this here. container. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's got a cut. few baskets there yeah, that we haven't gotten to. So this is really it. Strips. So Cynthia does bed size quilts and still manage not to have a whole lot of excess fabric storage like the rest of us <laughs> i will say that because she gets whatever project she's working on she gets it done and then if she, if she doesn't keep really really tiny scraps unless she's going to make a miniature she'll give it away and give it to somebody that she know will use it so that's pretty cool too now cynthia makes a lot of masterpieces and they all come off of this baby lock and another one too. and another one okay so she doesn't have a super fancy electronic machine doing all the work for her she's using a very base machine I know some people think that the machine makes the quilt and that's not true so I want to make sure I right. point that out I like little pieces so this is actually I'm working on this so these pieces in here actually are going to go with this quilt so she's making columns pretty cool i love small things that turn into big things mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. gorgeous yeah i'm having fun with this beautiful and then she's got another book project that's on her table she's probably working on it's almost finished and here, so she doesn't um, have a lot on her work surface. This is interesting too. Do you want to show them what that is? This? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one of my little bags we made in Civil War Sewing Circle. We made two different sizes. Oh, that's pretty cool. And um, we just, I just keep everything in here when I'm going on a retreat. Just little odds and ends and I'll add to it. Very nice. And the same thing as this, but a smaller one. It's just a one. smaller version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Different type of storage on her mm -hmm. counter that she puts things in. And? And then she's got a muffin tin. With buttons. <laughs> with buttons. That's pretty cool. An old card file. This is, okay, card this right here is an old card file. Mm -hmm. Okay, index cards. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And just so you all know, I, you all remember we did a studio tour with Rita, and so she's also friends with Rita. Mm -hmm. Yes. And do you think you introduced Rita to antiques, or did she was she already into she it? She was already into it. Okay, so we that was just amazing a when you all met that you all were already so compatible. Oh, yeah yeah absolutely so yeah so what's funny is cynthia just sews on a standard fold-up table she's got plenty of room on it it's bigger than any sewing table you're gonna buy and it's sufficient and she has I'm just show you her rug she has an area rug that grounds her sewing table like so yeah it's not doesn't have to be super fancy to be effective and i guess that's my point here mm -hmm. and then she does like i said she incorporated her own personal likes with having all the antiques even got family know how to store things or know got a good eye for knowing what will store her stuff very well i will say that so anything else you want to share that i forgot um know that i just like to work with the wool a lot i've been okay. doing some workshops and things with the wool and um, would you like to see my last piece that I finished? Sure. It has to be quilted, so nobody really has seen this too much except for a few people. 
This is going to be uh, in the quilt show in September of 2019. It's a Maggie Bonanomi pattern, and I changed it a little bit with the color selections. It's just beautiful, and I just want to show a close-up of the handwork. I'm not sure if this actually showed before because we lost power, but I just wanted to make sure that this beautiful work of art was included. <laughs> so that concludes Hi. that concludes our studio tour with Cynthia. And I want to thank Cynthia for allowing us into her home. Again, she showed us more than just her studio. She showed you how you can incorporate various different types of furniture pieces and collectibles into your sewing studio space and make them efficient for your storage as well. So thank you all so much for watching. We will see you all next thank time. Thank you, T. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. <laughs>